Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Rural Canada A. In this episode, we're going to expand the downtown and build out so, so much. But it's two blocks, and it's a hot YMCA, and it's a hot church. So, you know, it, it works out in the end. <laughs> but I wanted to kick off today's episode with a very, very excited announcement. On September 8th, I will be showcasing a little preview of City Skylines 2. I am so heckin' excited for this opportunity, and I wanted to take a moment to say a huge thank you to everybody who supported me, whether it was on the Twitch side of things or the YouTube side of things here, uh, you know, this newer uh, venture. Um, without the support from all of you, we would not be getting opportunities like this. It's so, so cool. I'm still blown away trying to you know, process how insane that is and how lucky I am. Um, so a huge, huge thank you. Now we're doing a poll in the Discord. It will wrap up. If you're watching this episode live, the day it comes out on this Monday, check the Discord, join the Discord if you haven't. There's a poll going live because we're either gonna do a live stream of City Skylines 2 or a video around City Skylines 2. And I want to hear from all of you. Uh, do you wanna see a video or a live stream? The live stream would be on Twitch. Um, so yeah, check that out. The poll wraps up at the end of the Monday. So if you're seeing this video on the day it comes out, join the Discord. Even if you don't use Discord, join the Discord vote and then leave after, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but share your thoughts or just share your comments um, on what you'd like to see as well too um, but yeah join the discord comment you know do that stuff <laughs> so we're gonna kick things off today in this episode by doing everybody's favorite surface parking and this is the classic moose take on it now in one of the episodes I want to say it was like three episodes ago uh, we discussed about how I had a comment uh, from Adam uh, over on the Twitch side talking about syncing these in and using worn decals to cover them and give them that worn aesthetic. I will be doing that, but I'm going to be doing it off camera now. I don't think I need to show it every single time on camera because it is quite time consuming. And I don't know. It's kind of like we don't need to spend time in the video. You know, I like to keep the video shorter around that like 30 to 40 minute sweet spot. And I don't think we need to waste time from there kind of doing the same thing over and over and over again. I had even got to a point of question like, do I need to show the parking lots? But, you know, different area, different parking lot. Like, parking lots are the same, but they're different. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I will show the parking lot stuff, but I don't need to show the um, placing of the worn decals. There's just, you know, there's not really a need for that. Um... Yeah, because it's, it's very monotonous, time-consuming work. <laughs> well, the end result is absolutely worth it. The end result, like, looks so, so freaking cool. So we're getting it all set up for this YMCA asset. And I believe this one is actually from Rochester. And uh, I believe it was Gilded Age who made it. And I am pretty sure it was made for Rochester 1 to 1 by a gaseous stranger. Um, if you see any Rochester or Pittsburgh assets on the workshop, know that likely Gaseous Stranger was involved in that somehow, to some extent, making those assets appear. <laughs> but I'm actually really happy with this parking lot. It fills the space, uh, you know, really well, and, and um, it, it's, I don't know, these, there's kind of like a weird calm to it, like building these, they're, they're all the same. You know, they fill space differently because of different shapes and sizes of the lots, right? But, like, there's this weird calm to build in a parking lot that just kind of... I don't know. It's it's relaxing. It's it's peaceful, you know? <laughs> that I kind of, like... You know, it's it's soothing, right? <laughs> Building out these parking lots. And so we're going to use this railing here by Rick4000. Uh, and this is a crucial asset um, that is very, very common amongst many parking lots. Quite a few in uh, Okanagan cities as well, too. Um, but yeah, something that is... That is uh very, very, very common. Uh, I also feel like I need to touch on this as well, too, especially in this episode uh, a little bit. Um, but yeah, send in... Um, I'm trying to figure out how what, what we could do over on the Twitch side to support people. Um, so it's been a pretty devastating year for the Okanagan. Um, the forest fires have been insane. Uh, my uncle and aunt uh, lost their property in the shoe swap. Uh, many friends that I have, people that I went to high school with, um, have lost their property as well. Um, it's been a, a pretty tough year. Um, and so we're trying to see, you know, 
what can we do to support, whether it be like a GoFundMe raising money for people that have lost anything. Um, so if you want to stay up to date on any of that, um, again, it's, it's, it's my home region. It's where I grew up and it's pretty tough to be living in Vancouver and seeing the place that you grew up, you know, burning. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's a tough year. So to anybody that's listening from the Okanagan, man, much love and support from myself. Um, and, uh, you know, hoping for, hoping for the best outcome, right? Hoping for the best outcome, but we are trying to see if there's anything, uh, we can do to, to support those that have now found themselves, you know, that have lost everything, right? Fire is extremely devastating and it's, it's really sad to see, you know, my, my, my home on fire. It's, it's, it's tough, but, uh, yeah, much, much love to those, those people affected by it. Um, if you want to stay tuned, uh, look up to date on that, on things that we're doing over there, things that we're up to, uh, check out the Discord again. Uh, just, just join the Discord. Just get in the heck of Discord. <laughs> it's worth it. It's awesome, man. Great community of people there. Um, but, uh, and if you ever want to go, um, you know, there's a game called American Trucks in that I really like. Uh, you know, Discord's a good spot for that. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, coming back in here, I was initially going to use those barriers uh, for that spot there and instead decided to go with a curb, which I think is really nice, but I kind of wish that I extended the curb all around the parking lot here, all around the edges of the ploppable asphalt that we used. Um, so maybe I come in and do that later on in a, a you know, at a, at a different timeline for it. Because um, I think it would really add to it. And you have to raise up the ploppable asphalt just slightly. Now, it doesn't show up. None of us will see it. And you didn't hear anything but uh the the frog curb asset there that network would have helped to uh, blend it in a little bit more i feel like um so i don't know maybe that's something we add in the future there coming in with accessibility decals here just to denote the accessibility parking throughout um and where those spots are and tried to make them a little bit closer to the accessibility ramp so that the um building comes with which is really cool it comes with that stuff built in man this it's such a freaking cool asset dude such a cool asset. I'm like, oh man, the the YMCA's are such a um, such a big thing here in in. Uh, well, they're all over the world, right? But they are a huge thing here in uh, British Columbia. I'm gonna add some billboards there. Remember, confide in the Church of Symology. It'll change your life forever. And then we're gonna come in with a billboard over here that is. Oh yes, your advertisement here. Now at first I was kind of like, huh, do I need like. It has a different, uh, like, area code, like a phone number. The area code's different than, what, like, what the Okanagan is. But I realized that, like, a lot of corporate, like, ad-related stuff, they use, like, weird, I mean, you know, more than would use, like, 1-800 stuff. But, I don't know, they use, like, different um, numbers and stuff like that. So I, th I think it's just, like, it, it's whatever. Could have been an old, I, you know, who cares? Like, it's, it's whatever. Um, I think it'd be fine. And then using that Eastern Cottonwood, which is the uh, late summer's end cottonwood, very cool texture to it. And we're going to place at the bottom of it my most popular, most famous uh, box planter, I think is what it's called. Box. Uh... Well, it looks like a box and it's a planter, so it's probably called box planter. <laughs> box planner but yeah we're gonna use these cottonwoods all over um a lot of these places use uh similar trees throughout the block that they're associated with um newer developments of course will change it up and they usually plant their own smaller trees but with this we're gonna come in and uh, keep a lot of the trees here the same um just because it, it made sense to me also that that tree has got to be like dude like at least one of my favorite trees of all time that cottonwood dude this area already Ooh, it's looking good. Gonna come up with some bike parking as well now, too. Make sure we have... You know, the one thing that I, I feel like we need to do more of is bad bike infrastructure. Um, the Okanagan is notorious for bad bike infrastructure. I, Kelowna's getting better. We've talked about this before. Kelowna's getting better. GG to them. But overall, the Okanagan, you know, leaves you wanting more if you're a cyclist there. Godspeed. <laughs> Godspeed to the cyclists out there in the Okanagan. Um, but what would be really cool is you can use a road. Now, I know that you can do a lot of this stuff with um, blank roads. It's just too time consuming for me. I, I just, I can't justify spending that much time on the blank roads. Super cool idea. You know, it just, it's too time consuming for me. Um, so what I do instead is I use a road that has a, uh, actually, real quick, check this out. Use an and. I can place, like, change things with the road. Add a cool brick. Isn't that cool? Anyways, what I do is I use a road that has parking on the side, turn the parking off with TMPE, and then place an invisible bike road there. And it's like three steps, so much easier, I find. Uh, or not easier, because it's not hard using blank roads. It's just more time consuming. Faster, faster is what I mean. Uh, it's much faster that way. And um, 
I want to do more of that. I, I absolutely have not done enough of it in this series, like enough bad bike infrastructure. And we really need to, to, to do it more. Like a lot of these cities, what they're doing is retrofitting bike infrastructure in kind of crappy, you know, ways, you know, it's, it's, they're trying, but you know, eh, they're just doing it to, I feel like meet a quota, you know? Are we coming with this mural that makes this building look really, really cool? Just that little bit on it. And I realized that a lot of the graffiti assets I have from Crimson are on my uh, Dutch uh, City Skylines Netherlands Sky profile. And something happened. They're just not on my North American Sky profile. Um, also, if anybody wants me to share any of my Sky profiles, um, let me know. They're much more up to date than my asset list. My mod list is completely up to date. But they're much more up to date than my asset list. Um... So yeah, if anybody wants like my sky profile, let me know. I can share that in the descriptions of videos going forward. Um, I just am curious if anybody wants it. Uh, if not, like that's totally fine. But yeah, if anybody wants it, like I'm, I'm more than happy to, to share that stuff. We're gonna come up with patch decals here, and I need to get better at using these decals on the roads all over the place. Horrible for FPS, beautiful for aesthetics, and I take aesthetics over FPS all day. Listen, no matter what you do. At the end of the day, you're going to have bad FPS in this game. It's just, it is what it is. It happened to me when I was a console player on Xbox playing this game. You're just going to get bad FPS on it. And it's just how it is. So like, you know, you just got to accept it. <laughs> uh, so, you know, if, any, if everything's going to cause bad FPS, what's a few thousand decals in the downtown, right? <laughs> it makes it look pretty. So why the heck not, you know? If it makes it beautiful, then it's worth it, right? <laughs> so anyways, coming in with the stained decal all over the place because I think it adds a really nice worn aesthetic to it. And, and you know, overall, once these decals are added, it really does have a nice, nice look to it. Um, now, I think I come in here. Yeah, yeah, I come in here to add turning lanes, which I think is a cool, cool touch to it. Um, yeah, it adds a really nice flavor to it. Cool thing about those roads, too, is that they have brick crosswalks, which is like, it's kind of a vibe, man. It kind of... Kind of really like that. Which the, um, I don't know, which more assets did cool things like that with, with crosswalks, you know? I got to figure out how to blend that, like, super tall building from Smiley's there in a bit more. Um, well, that's a problem for future moose, though, so, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it, you know? We're going to come up with that uh, suburban road from Hockenheim here and just touch up all of this. Uh, all of the roads make sure it's got that nice beautiful suburban road look to it and i love using that worn one which comes in with the worn decals and i can only imagine that that's you know gotta be good for the fps <laughs> um we're not diving into suburbia yet but we give you a little flavor of suburbia here with some homes from smileys these new like detailed suburban they're midwest homes but they look so similar to ones from Kamloops, which is so heckin' cool. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. They're like, I've, I've lived in homes like this in, in uh, Kamloops. Um, yeah, they look very, very similar. It's really, really, really cool to see. And so uh, I guess the Midwest has a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of Okanagan flavor, right? Eh? Uh, which is, uh, I don't know, it's, 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 it's cool, you know? Um... But yeah, anyways, uh, come in there and give you a little taste of suburbia. But the cool thing that we're going to come in here and do is, and I get questions about this, like a few decent questions about this. Um, the vanilla obedience, the, for custom sidewalks, which is like, gotta be one of the coolest things I've found this year. And all the credit goes to creative decks. I, uh, found it through uh, creative decks on, on Instagram. Um, found out that he was doing this. It was a method that uh, that that they used, and it's it's changed the game for me. It's like I use it all over the place. It's it's so damn useful. Like oh my god, it's it's damn it comes in so clutch. Yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's so so heckin' nice. I I really 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 enjoy that. And the cool thing about it, the reason why I think it's such a game changer, not that it just it makes the sides of the roads look cool and better with like a custom sidewalk, but you can hide decals under it using procedural objects, which then allows you to have decals because they're square shaped, most of them, 
on the corners without being like, what the heck do I do, right? Because, you know, corners are round, decals are squared. Most of them, there are some round decals, but, you know, most of them aren't. And so you can hide it under the sidewalk there, uh, that, that custom vanilla median thing. And it allows you to create, you know, have decals perfectly on a corner there and not be, you know, scratching your head wondering what to do. So it's honestly one of the coolest things that I found. Um, again, all the credit to uh, Creative Decks there for that one, because it's, it's, man, it's, dude, so cool. There's so many talented people out there. Eh? They just have, like, just great ideas of, you know, uh, things and creativity and, and brain power. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So looking back on this area, that vanilla asset that's on the left corner there um, comes with the content creator pack by King Leno, I believe. And it comes with signs on it, but I want to convert it to a coffee shop. And I really think that it would have been a Starbucks. But the thing is, if I do that, that's then three coffee shops side by side. So because I'd convert it to a Starbucks beside it is second cup coffee which i believe is only in vancouver could be an entire bc thing yeah it's edna moose here uh second cup coffee's from uh, mississauga ontario so uh not 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 just uh british columbia all right enjoy the video but i feel like it's only in vancouver um and then arrowhead coffee i believe is the other asset that i put beside it like that's too much coffee <laughs> Um, I mean, unless you're the content creator by the name of Ack, then that's, uh, that's three coffees, three different flavors of coffee that you're trying every single morning, you know? So it's not, um, you know, it's, it's not a, not an issue there, you know? <laughs> uh, I finally got to use this asset, man. I, I've had this asset since it came out, the City Lights books, and I haven't used it once. Like I have had it since it came out. And I have not touched or used it once at all. Ain't that crazy? That's like, what? It's been out for two years, maybe, I want to say. I saw I saw Prez use it. I was like, man, I really should use this asset. And then just nothing came of it. Yeah, very interesting. Um, anyways, <laughs> came up with some uh, Gilded Age uh, Little Italy assets there. And then the Wiggle Whiskey at Distillery. And I, overall, I'm just really happy with how this block turns out. Totally looks like something that would exist in the Okanagan and, and uh, has those really cozy rural Canadian vibes to it. Um, I mean, the church on the corner here sells the entire thing because that church on the corner is like, man, I forget who made it, but it is the perfect, perfect church asset. Like, I grew up in a super religious uh, family and we absolutely, like, I've been to countless churches that look just like this. I had some trouble trying to figure out what was going on with this road because you saw that little pavement portion was bleeding through. But then I remembered something that I learned from one of my moderators on Twitch, who's also an amazing City Skyline streamer, Toby, about clipping. Uh, so you can use clipping remover to just hide stuff like that. Um, it's really useful when you're doing like um, anything that digs into the terrain, like a pool asset, um, you know, or so, something like that, right? And the grass will clip through the asset a bit because the asset's got lower terrain to it. You can use clipping removers to just hide that stuff. And it's like, damn, that's such a smart idea. Um, so huge shout out to Toby for that idea. That, um, man, that's so useful. <laughs> that's such a good idea. So now we're going to do something that I, I don't think any of you out there expected. Like, I, I, I know that this is going to come as a shock to a lot of you. Um, it's another parking lot. So <laughs> I, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to call this episode yet, but um, might as well call this episode is parking based. I don't know, something, something, you know, something to appeal to, to the youths. Call your episode based. I wonder how that affects viewership. <laughs> uh, anyways, place the blah, 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 asphalt here. And, um, yeah, <laughs> place some asphalt. I'm trying to figure out the church. That church, for whatever reason, the asset itself is angled off. And I guess that has to do with like how I remember looking into it a little bit, but it's how the building is in real life and how it's actually angled. Uh, but for whatever reason, using it with move it, like, it's just so difficult. I, I don't know what's going on there and why it's, like, so tedious to try and move it around. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's very, um, very interesting to, to say the least, you know? It's, it's, uh, an interesting thing. <laughs> 
So I'm going to come in with the uh, prog curve here that's got these beautiful corners. And, um, yeah, see, the thing is, a lot of parking has rounded corners. And I think I mentioned this before in another episode that I don't do it enough. Like, I really should be adding more curves than just sharp, square-like shapes into parking lots just to give it a little bit more realism. Uh, and the fact that that prog curve network, when connected, already curves for you, that's super useful, right? And that's something where, like, okay, I can, I can use this to help remind me, but also work as, like, a visual cue of how the parking lot's going to be laid out and, and sort of look. Uh, what we're doing now is just covering, uh, changing the color of the poppable asphalt uh, assets, and uh, that's just to better match what the actual color of the road is. Um, it just makes it blend a lot better there. Um, yeah, like, as you can see there overall, it just looks a lot better when it's, you know, like, the color is similar, right? And so we're going to adjust the pieces there, and then we're going to come in with circles to fill in that little corner. You know, I always feel like uh, parking's just not going to take that long, right? Like, it's just not going to be something where it, it takes that long to, to, to build and do. And yet, somehow, I just find myself, like... I don't know, dude. Parking lots take a lot of time. <laughs> they just, they're time consuming and I don't know why. And it is what it is, you know? It's, uh, yeah, just heck it is what it is. <laughs> I thought by now I would have been super fast <laughs> at this stuff, but you know, here we are. One of these days, you know, I, I wonder what it's like when, when rural Canada A comes to an end. Which actually, it's not really coming to an end, eh? We've talked about this before, but uh, the goal is to do rural Canada A in um, City Skylines 2. Like, try and do a rural city. How do, how do rural cities stack up, uh, you know, in, in City Skylines 2? Like, you know, is it as doable as it is here? Um, but yeah, super excited. Again, if you missed it at the start here, September 8th, I get to showcase a preview of City Skylines 2, me and a bunch of other amazing creators. Uh, and I'm blown away, dude. Every single person that's hit subscribe here, that's commented, that's liked, every single one of you is the reason why I get these cool opportunities, man. And thank you just doesn't feel like enough. Um, to everybody that's supported me on the Twitch streams, man, I appreciate it so, so heckin' much. These opportunities do not happen without uh you know the unreal support from all of you that's just so freaking cool i mean i appreciate it so 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 heckin much um so yeah coming in with palpable asphalt uh, churches like grass and i'm talking about the kind that's um that you don't smoke anyways uh so coming in with the, the palpable grass there to uh you know detail it up and and um I don't know. It adds some color to it. It's just like, yeah, churches are really green. You know, they, they usually have a lot of greenery around them. So it's something that I want to incorporate and include here as well. And they're just going to come with the asset to try and round out the, the curves here as well, too, and just get it adjusted. But all the while, the prog curve that I place is not perfectly aligned. And I think I notice it here. I think that's around here somewhere, you know? I think, uh... Yeah, look at that. So this prog curve network was not straight, and uh, yeah, then I had to adjust all the decal, or all the decals, all the ploppable surfaces, and uh, it's a lot of fun. I totally loved it, and it wasn't like you know one of those. Ah, this is annoying. I've got a time crunch for an episode, you know. It's it's it is what it is. Again, this is all stuff where like man, I could probably just crop it out. Um, but until I get to the point where it's like, okay, I'm just doing too much in an episode and I have to crop stuff to make the episode an accessible time frame, until we hit that point, I don't know, I'm just going to kind of like, I, I want to include as much of the footage as I can. So I just feel like it relates to more people that way where it's like, you know, here's, here's what it's like. This is city building. This is what it's like in the game. Like you'll have these same experiences too. Um, yeah, I just feel like it's more relatable, you know? And so it's something that uh, I want to include all the, like, you know, don't just focus on the good times. Like, there's a lot that goes into this and a lot of things where you don't always hit 10 out of 10 on the first try, right? There's a lot that uh, sort of, you know, goes into it and impacts that stuff. So, uh, but this church ends up looking so heckin' good. I mean, the asset looks freaking amazing, but we're using this prop asset um, that's kind of like steps, right? That you see common in, I don't know, buildings? <laughs> And so I use this one. Um, now, I've been asked about this before, and I'm sure I'll probably get comments about this. Like, 
Oh, where did you get this asset? But this asset is only accessible if you subscribe to the Regis High School asset because this is used on the roof. Although it's like one of the coolest path assets that I've found. And it's only ex you only get it if you sub to that Regis High School asset, which is kind of like... I don't know. It's kind of kind of interesting. Now, of course, trying to line it up here uh, made my head kind of explode. But, you know, it, uh, we got there in the end. <laughs> we got there in the end. I had to adjust it slightly there, but it ended up working out. Just a minor headache to try and line up all the lines there and get the square lengths. You know, the, the little cube lengths, the right, uh, right size there. Some PO was required, but, you know, make it work. <laughs> Oh, man, it looks really cool, though. It adds a really nice touch of um, and a realism and just like a nice little pop to it. And then the cool thing here is I've let the grass over top of it because I feel like the grass here would just be kind of like we're in the Okanagan. So it's a desert climate. But like, I don't know. It made sense to me to have the grass overgrowing it. But now that I'm thinking about it, like now, like looking at this footage and thinking about it, I feel like this might be Vancouver Moose that's winning. Like my internal monologue, right? I feel like Vancouver Moose wins and that's why the grass is overgrown. And that if this were truly, you know, the Okanagan, um, the grass wouldn't win um, because it's dry. Or it just doesn't exist. Well, but it's probably dry and it's not overgrowing anything. <laughs> so Vancouver Moose won there by making it lush and green and overgrown. <laughs> not that we don't have green grass in, you know, the Okanagan or in Kamloops, right? But, uh, you know, we... we uh... Yeah, anyways. <laughs> I recently have been watching a lot of this YouTuber. I hope I'm saying the name correctly. JJ McCullough. I think that's the correct one. And uh, I don't know if any of you watched it. Like, love or hate his videos. I know some people love it. Some people don't love it. Um, that man's got one of the most Canadian accents ever. Hello, friends. My name is JJ. And here is a question. How culturally important are video games? And I'm, I've been so tempted in one of these, I kind of wish, like, if I go back and start YouTube over again, I would come in with just the full-blown Canadian accent. You know, talking like this, eh? So, what you can see on screen here, we're going to stretch the road out, eh? And, uh, I really like this asset here, because it's got brick for the sidewalk, eh? And I think it looks really, really cool there, buddy. Uh, so, yeah, you know, like, talking like that, and, like, instead of saying about, you say about. <laughs> That's, like, the common Canadian one. You know, I'm all about city skylines here. If you're all about City Skylines, eh? Join the Discord. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, um... Anyways, this video has got a super Canadian accent, and uh, I feel like... I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, man, maybe people think I'm not Canadian. Like, maybe they think I live in Vancouver, Washington when I say I'm from Vancouver, you know? <laughs> so I've been tempted to, like, one video just come in with, like, a... Like, don't say anything, but just come in with, like, a full-blown Canadian accent, you know, and just see what happens. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It's a sunny, beautiful day outside. I'm in a goofy mood recording this. Uh, I had some technical issues recording this, and I had to re-record this commentary like 10 times now. Um, so my, my brain is loopy today. If I'm talking nonsense, uh, you know, it's it's not always like this. <laughs> So anyways, coming in with the final touches here. And again, we're going to be placing this parking down. Now, I will be changing it again using that method that I've talked about before, which is you sink down the decal that we're using or the building asset that we're using now that allows vehicles to park at it. And you place a worn decal over top of it because parking just isn't this clean. Like even new parking, man, it just is not that long. Like, you know, in newer developments, it's just not that long before the parking is like worn and, and uh, it really shows, you know, so... I, yeah, I don't know. It's just nothing ever looks this clean, right? It just, it just doesn't look that clean in cities. We're going to come in and use that vanilla median asset again just to give a little bit of, uh, you know, some sidewalks, some curb edges to the buildings here. Um, which I don't know how realistic this is. Like, I didn't really. I just kind of did it because it feels like something that's realistic. Um, feel free to tell me that, like, I don't know that that's realistic. Um, my response to it is going to be I don't care because it looks cool. Um... Because I really do think it looks cool, and I think it adds a really nice touch to these buildings. But I honestly just don't know how realistic it is, right? Um, so there it is with the parking assets. Uh, and I'd imagine that some of this parking over here on this one lot that we're working in would be dedicated for the church, potentially. I don't know that it would be like a first-come, first-serve like parking lots usually are. Like, I do think that that one would have some dedicated... Uh, 
uh, park in for the church. Or maybe they do something like on Sundays it's dedicated and like not on Sundays anybody can use it. Like maybe there's a game at the stadium. You got to go catch the hockey team, eh? And uh, so if you're looking for parking for the hockey team there, this is where you'd park, eh? I bet you that's how it could work, you know? It, like, um, yeah, I don't know. M maybe that's, I don't know. I don't know if it's an actual thing. Like the, um... The church that I went to growing up was, uh, in case everybody's wondering, like a little tidbit about me, I'm not religious anymore. Um, I just grew up in a super religious household. Um, shout out to anybody that's watching. Actually, this is a cool test to be like, not a test, but like, uh, I don't know. Get to know my audience more here. If you are still listening to the episode now and you know any of these bands, Anne Berlin, Thousand Foot Crutch, The Classic Crime, if you know any of those three bands, comment below, um, I don't know, comment below the number one, <laughs> or just tell me, comment either the number one or just be like, Moose, I know those bands. <laughs> Not a lot of people do, man, and the ones that do it, I don't know, it's just cool, dude, it's cool to, I don't know, maybe nobody knows them. And also, you know what a fun fact is? I don't know that anybody knows this band. A band from Finland called Disco Ensemble. If anybody knows that band, man, let me know. They're one of my, like, they're in my top 10 bands of all time. Um, and nobody knows them. They're this band that's broken up now from Finland. And they are just god tier music. I just, oh man, they are still to this day one of my, I mean, they're my top 10 bands of all time. Really cool stuff. Linkin Park will always be my favorite band of all time. Like, Linkin Park's just the goat. They're god tier music. But, um, yeah, Disco Ensemble, man, a random, you know, if I'd be surprised if a single person knew them, um, you know, outside of Finland, I guess, eh? So we're coming up with that Rick 4000 fence asset again there just to touch it up and add a little depth of it. But we are getting close to the end of the episode here. The last thing I'm going to do is add some, uh, weed assets there and add, uh, you know, a little bit of, um, overgrown, like to it i guess it would make more sense if it was like i don't know actually grass there it doesn't look bad i think it looks really good like i'm really happy with how it turned out uh, but maybe at some point we come back and we change out some of that pluffable asphalt for grass and then i added over here because i realized that i forgot to um uh, to do that here but we are getting close to the uh to the the live play i was about to call it the time lapse again i don't think i'll ever learn i'll ever not call it that i'm gonna slap down some decals add a little bit of wear and tear to this some street trees as well but i'm gonna let you enjoy the vibes as we head into the live play moose 2 will check back in with you in the live play portion Welcome back, everybody, to the live play portion of the episode. And remember, confide. Come join the Church of Symology. Anyway, so now that that advertisement segment is over, uh, here's what we built today. <laughs> it was cool, though. We got two blocks done that are decently detailed. So that's good to know. Um, we can do two blocks an episode. So one, two, three, four... Ha, huh, okay. We've got a lot of... <laughs> uh, I don't expect the antenna to be complete anytime soon. Uh, <laughs> but no, this, this episode was a lot of fun, man. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Really happy with the YMCA here. Um, huge shout out to Imperial Jedi. If you know, you know. Got some cool little graffiti. We got Cabes playing Baldur's Gate. You know, life, life is good. Really like how these houses look as well, too. Like, the vibes down here. Like, this feels really Kamloops-esque to me. Like, really Kamloops-esque with, like, those older, um, I guess they're called, like, Midwest homes, but they're pretty common in Kamloops, like, kind of, kind of that aesthetic, uh, right beside the YMCA there. Ah, uh, 
yeah, that that street turned out well. Love these cottonwood trees too, especially the um, I think this one's called like the late summers or like summers end one. So it's got oh, I just wish there were more trees like that. Just the way the leaves look and damn, phenomenal stuff. Um, yeah, really happy with this. I'm gonna have to figure out how I can make this apartment blend in more, but that's a project for another day. Here is the other block that we did. Kind of a few like what's this say? Clippers? So like a haircut? I um and what's this one? State City and Yeah. I'm gonna probably change out these signs. I if I'm being honest, I forgot to. I hadn't meant to uh, on this episode and like detailing it, but I think I'm gonna change out these signs and I don't know, probably like, I might convert this to a Starbucks if I'm being honest. I, I might just convert that to a Starbucks. <laughs> this distillery though, super cool asset. Like that'd be a really cool spot to, what is it, whiskey? Yeah, you know, grab a drink. <laughs> and then a couple of those little Italy buildings by Gilded Age looks so good. Really happy with how the back lot turned out. And here is the church. Man, this asset is phenomenal. Like this scream, small town, Canada, you know, downtown church, like a, a downtown church that you'd see there, uh, in, especially in the Okanagan. My God, this one's perfect. Like I grew up in a very religious household and I've, I've been to buildings just like this in the Okanagan. It's uh, what a good asset. Like the, oh man, the views. Yep, that's uh, that Ponderosa, dude. This, uh, I'm so happy. It feels really good to be back in downtown after spending so much time, um, a couple, you know, a few episodes away from it. Like, this feels really, really good to be back in downtown. Just overall, so heckin' happy with that. And this, um, what is it? Lupita? Yeah, Lupita Laundromat. Oh. Oh, what an asset. It's got, like, wear and tear on it and, like, ah, uh, uh, love it. The fact you can see, like, downtown and the vibes, dude, I'm loving this. Man, I'm so happy with it. But uh, yeah, that's what we got up to today. Really cool block done here. Really, really cool, crucial YMCA build done. Some bike stuff too. I've been tempted to like, what if we remove parking here and put an invisible bike lane in? And then you have people biking and we can detail it out. I might come in and do that when we get into like more suburban detailing here. Like come in and add a bike lane to this road, a, cu a custom one. Um, that might be kind of cool. I don't know, yeah, we'll see. But something to like bad bike infrastructure you know i feel like i need to put a bigger emphasis in this build entirely with bad bike infrastructure <laughs> um but yeah that's that's uh you know it <laughs> i can't get over dude this ymca and these silly billboards like i don't know stuff like that is just so so much heck and fun um yeah, I love stuff like that. But that's all I got for you today uh, for the live play. And that's it for the episode. Made decent uh, progress on downtown. <laughs> uh, as always, remember, no matter what life throws at you, you matter. You are loved. You have a purpose. I'm a Canadian moose, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Rural Canada A. Happy building, everyone.